Hey everybody, this is the weekly forecast commencing on Monday, February the 5th, 2024. There will be a new moon in Aquarius on Friday. Um, and the rule of thumb is you don't want to launch important new projects, start a new job, have a, a you know, launch a new business, etc. When you're when the moon the week before the new moon because the week before is a wrapping up a bringing closure a winding down of the energies that started with the previous new moon which was January the 11th in Capricorn um, and so this week is maybe good for uh, getting prepared um, and reflecting getting ready but not yet really acting on the important stuff until after Friday with the next new moon. Overall, this week has a lot of very positive energies. There's a, certainly a lot of activity going on. It's not going to be a boring week. There's going to be a lot of stimulations and opportunities. But before I break down what this new moon on Friday is going to bring for the next four weeks and what's happening each day, and there's some pretty powerful uh, planetary events this week, but before I get into all those details, if you enjoy these kinds of videos and would like to see more of them, click like and subscribe. And don't forget to click on the notification bell so you can receive the latest postings. And if you go into the description box underneath the video, you'll find a direct link to get a sign up for my free daily horoscope or, uh, or checking out my website to book an astrology reading or inquire about my two question offer. All right, let's start with Monday, February the 5th. The moon that sets the public tone, and the moon goes through all 12 signs once a month. So we're going to start the new work week with the moon in Sagittarius. Sagittarius is enthusiastic, it's, it's outgoing, it's adventurous. Sagittarius is a fire sign, um, and with that, that, that expansiveness and that high energy, very upbeat, positive energy to start the new work week, discerning Mercury, decision-making, curious communication Mercury will be aligning with Pluto. This usually will only happen once a year. Pluto in mythology is the lord of the underworld. So Pluto can have a lot to go with introspection, going deep within, research, investigation, privacy. And with Mercury, intelligent communication Mercury aligning with Pluto, this could be really favorable for um, uh, getting curious, learning about psychology, that's Pluto, the occult, that's Pluto, or doing any kind of needing some intensive studying, researching, investigation. This is also with communications, um, could be very powerful energy with Pluto uh, to help you persuade others, whether you're talking, whether you're writing, to your point of view. Now, on Tuesday, the moon is now in Capricorn. When the moon was in Sag, and it goes from sign to sign every two and a half days. When it was in Sagittarius, so that was the last day on Monday, Sagittarius is so outgoing and adventurous. But when the moon goes into Capricorn, more of the public tone and reaction is on, let's get, get back to work, let's get the job done, let's get more practical, more sensible. The moon in Capricorn will be in harmony with Saturn and Jupiter late afternoon Pacific time. Jupiter is the ruler of Sag, Jupiter is all this expansiveness, opportunity, and growth. 
And Saturn is that grounding, responsible, focused energies. Jupiter and Saturn are helping one another. They're in harmony with each other, which is good economically. Uh, it's good for building solid structures. But here, now we're having the moon setting the public tone is going to be in harmony with that Saturn and Jupiter um, by late afternoon. Very favorable energies, not for starting new business because the new moon, we don't want to do it until after the new moon on the night. But it's very favorable for wrapping up old business or um, or maybe putting that final puzzle piece into place um, so you can continue with what you've been doing and feeling more grounded, more solid with the work you've been doing. On Wednesday, the moon in practical Capricorn is going to cross over Venus. Venus is the planet of love and relationships, but it's also the planet of creativity and beauty, and it's often associated with finances because Venus loves the finer things in life. Venus rules over luxuries, and all of that costs money. So Venus, um, we always got to keep it in mind because we get kind of caught up in it's all about r relationships and love and creativity, um, but it can also be dealing finances. And Capricorn, the moon's in Capricorn. Capricorn is all that practical, sensible, security-oriented energies. So the moon, once every 28 days, will exactly cross over the Venus by noon into early afternoon Pacific time. Now that would be a very favorable time for any type of um, getting together with a loved one, a best friend, and really opening up and sharing your feelings and your thoughts. Very good expressing yourself creatively. But this would also be really good going on a job interview or pitching any kind of, um, you know, some new project uh, trying to get a contract, as suppose. And Venus is going to be in harmony with Uranus all day. And assertive, courageous Mars will be in harmony with Neptune all day. So this is some really powerful, positive energies. But it's a couple of days before the new moon. Remember, this is a winding down or wrapping up. So even though these energies are really positive, it's not about launching anything new. Now, you could be brainstorming and researching new ideas to present next week. Um, but overall, this is about, um, with Venus and Uranus, um, this can be really favorable energy um, thinking out of the box, trying something new. Now that goes along with that yesterday on the Tuesday with the moon in harmony with Jupiter Saturn about wrapping up, solidifying what you've been doing. So on the 7th, so we're still trying to wrap up um, and solidify what you've been doing since the last new moon on January the 11th. So that Venus, Venus Uranus, you could be coming up with new options for with creative projects, new ways of making money, but with existing projects, not all new ones. And Mars to Neptune. This can be very charitable energies because Neptune is this empathetic, idealistic uh, healing energy and Mars is taking action. Um, this can be uh, really promoting a lot of uh, spiritual, altruistic energies on a completely different level. Venus is fun. It's, uh, it's playful. It's creative. 
and Venus Uranus on Wednesday. So let's say Wednesday night. Um, there's more of the, for a lot of you, you might be, I don't want to like sit at home, even though it's only on a Wednesday night. Let's go do something. And with Mars to Neptune, with the, on the creative side, you could go dancing. Because um, Mars is all that physical energy, Neptune is all that musical, rhythmic energies, and that Venus is creative and playful with Uranus trying to get out of the old routine. So Wednesday could be use this really favorable energies not to be starting new business, but reconnecting to old friends and loved ones, go out dancing, Go to a concert, you know, just ride, you know, ride the wave of having a good time. On Thursday the 8th, the moon is now out of Capricorn and goes into innovative Aquarius at 6 a.m. Pacific time, starting to set up the new moon, which will be on Friday the 9th. The Aquarius is, well, think of when it was in Capricorn. Capricorn's very traditional, whereas the, that kind of that public thrust and tone with Aquarius, Aquarius is very unconventional. Aquarius looks to the future. Capricorn is reviewing the past and tradition. Um, Aquarius is really much more open to technologies, all new ideas, new liberation. Now, the sun um, in Aquarius, because we're going to have the new moon on Friday, the next day in Aquarius, the sun is going to be in a hard angle with Uranus. That is when you're feeling all this excitement to um, try something all new and original, reinvent yourself. But that's going to be part of the new moon, which I'll discuss in a moment here. But with the moon in Aquarius on Thursday, it's going to be aligning with communication Mercury by mid-afternoon Pacific time. You could be talking, discussing, writing, that's all the Mercury, your feelings, the moon. Um, you could be d talking about your past, your childhood, the moon. Moon Mercury is very favorable for writing, for s expressing yourself personally, emotionally. Now, this takes us into Friday, with the new moon in Aquarius, which is already with the sun with Uranus on Thursday. So the new moon is going to be very much influenced by Uranus. And that's going to be one of the big overall themes for the next several weeks through until the next new moon, which will be in Pisces. Now, Aquarius that innovative, quirky, futuristic, original thinking, genius Aquarius is represented by Uranus. Everything that Aquarius represents, the planet Uranus represents the same thing. Uranus is a genius, it's technology, it's liberating, it's rebellious. So here's Uranus, the ruler of Aquarius. The new moon is in Aquarius but it's in a hard angle, this internal tension called a square. So there's going to be, from the new moon on Friday, certainly seeing a lot of the results by the full moon two weeks later of a certain amount of wanting to break free, to rebel, get out of some old routine, shake things up, and be so much more open to new technologies, a new way of looking at life, really shaking up your perspective. Um, very open to something, all new ideas. Now, on Saturday, the moon um, is going into Pisces at 5.43 a.m. Pacific time for those next two and a half days. 
Pisces is so different from Aquarius. But the Aquarius energy is the overall theme for the next four weeks because the new moon is in Aquarius. So Aquarius is very intellectual. And often Aquarians will feel, will, will, will seem more impersonal, more detached. Um, everything is coming from their head, very cerebral. Then we go into Pisces and that moon, which was, uh, describing more of the emotional tone for, with the public. Pisces is very emotional, very sensitive, very creative, can be um, very uh, empathetic and charitable. These are qualities of Pisces. Now, communication intelligent Mercury business savvy Mercury will be squaring or a hard angle to expansive Jupiter throughout all of Saturday. Now, Jupiter is a planet of optimism and good fortune. Mercury is your whole thinking faculties, what is on your mind. You have to be careful with when Jupiter is forming a square or a hard angle, so that's a big push to Mercury. That can indicate that what you are planning and discussing and expecting, all keywords of Mercury, are over, you're over inflating, you're over expecting with Jupiter. If you keep if you keep the bar low, if you keep more grounded, if you're keeping your expectations more moderate, the Mercury Jupiter is going to bring you a lot of advancement. But if you think you're going to win a hundred million dollars with the lottery or you're, you know, you're going to get this big, huge account, if you have huge expectations, you're probably going to have to cut back and be disappointed. But if you keep the bar low, you can make a lot of progress. Now, some of the positive, Mercury is all this planning with the Jupiter. Now, don't overdo it with the Jupiter, spending too much money, taking on too much. One of the things that Jupiter can represent is education. Um, and um, so you might be, uh, you know, making big plans um, and taking on lots of courses or taking on a subject that takes a big commitment and then um, you gotta like cut back. It, it's too much studying, it's taking up too much time. One example. Jupiter also represents traveling um, and Mercury is very restless and curious. It's a great combination for making travel plans. But again, you don't want to overdo it because later you may have to cut back your itinerary. Um, and if your expectations, Mercury, are over the top with excitement, pull it back. But you'll still get a lot of opportunities for growth. Just don't overdo it. And with the moon in Pisces for Saturday into Sunday, um, this could this could be these really tapping into some more sensitive, emotional, creative energies. But the Saturn, Taskmaster Saturn, is in Pisces. It's been there for a year now, once nearly every 30 years. Saturn can rule contraction, seriousness, duties, responsibilities. So once a month, when the moon is in Pisces, it's going to cross over Saturn. Now, it's only going to cross over Saturn for like an hour or two, which will be late afternoon, Saturday the 10th. So it's only an hour or two, but during that moon Saturn, you might be emotionally, the moon, really worried, or you might be feeling lonely and isolated. On a more positive side, a more positive interpretation, is you could be taking on um, more responsibility, Saturn, with moon family, or with property, real estate, that's also the moon. So it doesn't have to be necessarily feeling emotionally contracted. You could also be taking on a lot of responsibilities with your emotional commitments. So that's late afternoon, Pacific time. 
finally on Sunday, the moon continuing in empathetic, sensitive Pisces is going to make a couple of harmonious transits. Around noon, past 1 p.m. Pacific time, the moon will be in harmony with um, exciting, innovative uh, Uranus. It wants to bring in a lot of emotional excitement, getting out of the old stuck routine, being more open to trying new things. By early, by mid-evening, around 8 p.m. Pacific time. So a lot of you will be winding down. It's a Sunday night, getting ready for bed. A lot of you, if you're on the East Coast of, New, of the United States or going or in Europe, you could already be in bed. Um, and with Venus um, is all this contentment. So that emotional moon in Pisces, for some of you, could be having a good night's sleep, sweet dreams. But if you're still awake, this is a really favorable time um, for making a heartfelt connection with a good friend or your significant other. I want to thank you for watching. If you'd like information on how to book an astrology reading or check out my two question offer, visit my website at gardino.co. That's .co. Until next week, be safe and well.